Just turn on the TV. Like I said, TBN, you'll see a lot of them. You know who's very popular today? Creflo Dollar. Dollar. He's being investigated by, uh, right now by the government for his millions of dollars. Uh, T.D. Jakes, remember? The, the, do, you, do, you, do you realize that he does not believe in the Trinity? He does not believe in the Trinity. He, don't, he doesn't believe that the Holy Spirit is God. Yet Christians love him. He's a false prophet. Yeah. Comes up with like bodyguards. Yeah. Why do you need bodyguards? Yeah, because he's he's because he's got millions. That's why. But uh, so you got to be careful. Just because somebody looks good and yells a lot and's got a big gathering doesn't mean he's true. You got to be careful. Joel Olstein's another one. Joel Olstein, man, he's a false prophet. You know, he believes that he's an old Norman Vincent Peale disciple. The power of positive thinking. Everybody's good. He got nailed three years ago on TV when he admitted national TV that he does not believe in sin. <laughs> he admitted it. I flipped through and I, I heard him say one statement. He said he will never preach the wrath of God no. in his church. No, no. He never will. He does not preach the born again message. He believes in the power of positive things. You've got to be careful of these guys. Different Jesus. Different Jesus. Different gospel. And that when you expose it, people get mad at you. You know? They think we're nuts. People, be careful out there. The devil has his camp. He's using the world standard to judge these churches. If they're successful, they must be okay. Yeah. Look at, uh, let's see if I can find it. I think it's 2 Corinthians. And then we'll close. 2 Corinthians, I think it's... See if I can find it. I think it's 12, yeah. See the 1 Corinthians 12 or 2 Corinthians 12? Is it 12? Let's see. I'll find it. I'll find it. I'll find it. Oh, yeah, 11. 2 Corinthians chapter 11. Watch this. If you if you got your Bible, I want to tell you what the underline. Paul Paul was concerned for the believers. Notice what his concern is. Second Corinthians chapter eleven verse one. Oh, that you would bear with me a little folly. Indeed, you do bear with me, for I am jealous for you with godly jealousy, for I had betrothed you with one husband that I might present you as a chaste virgin to Christ. Verse three. But I fear lest somehow, underline, as the serpent deceived Eve by his craftiness, so your simple minds may be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. Watch verse 4. For he who comes preaches another Jesus. Underline that. Preaches another Jesus. Whom we have not preached. Or if you receive a different spirit, underline a different spirit, which you have not received. Or a different gospel, underline different gospel, which you have not accepted. You may well put up with it. Uh, pop down to verse 13. For such, talking about the ones in verse 3 and 4, for such are false apostles, deceiving workers, watch this, underline, transforming themselves into the apostles of Christ. You catch that? And no wonder, for Satan himself transforms himself into an angel of light. For there is no great thing if he ministered and transformed themselves, ministers of righteousness whose end will be according to their... What, did you see that? Ministers of righteousness. These false prophets look like ministers, act like ministers, appear righteous. Right? Now, um... Uh, I say again, lo and think of me a fool, if otherwise at least receive me as a fool, that I also may boast a little. 
So remember, there are times it's no big deal for Satan to ha transfer and have ministers that preach the gospel, talk about a different spirit, and carry a different message. Amen? He has his ministers. Realize that. Just because somebody speaks in the name of Jesus does not mean he knows God. Remember Matthew 7? Many in that day, Lord, Lord, didn't we preach in your name? Didn't we do marvelous works in your name? Didn't we do many miracles in your name? And Jesus said, depart from me, ye workers of iniquity, for I never knew you. I think that's Matthew 7.25. So be careful out there, people, this false. So next week we'll look at Jude gives five more illustrations of false teachers. I think they're very interesting. All right.